Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again with another great video. If you didn't see the thumbnail, let me tell you about the thumbnail. I'm going to be talking about Metro PCS's top great phones to get if you trade it over your line, switch over your line, whatever you may call it, port over your line to get a zero down phone. And if you and if you want to go a little bit more, you got a little bit more cash in your pocket, I'm going to be talking about the best phones to get if you do got a little bit more money in your pocket. And if you got even a lot of money in your pocket, I'm going to tell you the right phones that you should get. People ask me all the time, is this phone better than this phone? Is this phone better than this phone? And you know what I'm saying? I answer on there. So now I'm just going to be talking about Metro PCS. I might do one about Cricket. I might want to do, do one about um, Boost Mobile because they sell similar phones and in some phones they don't sell together. But since I talk about Metro PCS so much, I'm going to be we're going to be talking about that. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So um, let's get started. You know what I'm saying? But before I do, you guys should know what to do. If you love me, you're going to subscribe, like, and hit that bell. Hit that notification for new videos that are coming out. Trust me, they're not always going to be about tech, and they're all they're not always going to be about. Um, figurines and then they're not always gonna be about vlog it, it might just I might just think of something different that I want to put out there because you know what I'm saying I'm unique I want I, wa I want to put it all out there I just don't want to keep it focused on one thing so you know what I'm saying you never know what I'm gonna be putting out now let's I tell you <laughs> but let's uh, get right to it okay so everybody knows about the porting the port situation that I always brag about you can port your number over from a different carrier and get a phone for cheap a lot of people stay on the company. They be like, oh, man, I broke my phone. And they want me to pay all this money for insurance. What I tell people is, why don't you just switch your number back over to another company, get a free phone from there. And if you ain't happy with that, you can switch your number right back over to uh, to the same carrier and get the phone that you wanted. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little bit of hassle, but at least you get the phone that you want. So, you want to know more about that, you guys already know. Comment below, and I'll let you guys know how to go about it doing it. So, it now in the now in the mix of trading uh, of trading I keep saying trading of switching over your phone porting over your phone to a different company as far as Metro you can do that as long as they're not on the T-Mobile network you can definitely do that now the phone that you want to get to start off with that to, to from my pick that I would pick that you guys should do is I got my phone in my hand because I took pictures of what I wanted to what uh, the phones I wanted to say. Is the now the the first phone that I would go with? I'm going to sit there and say, let me let me. Let, I gotta look through this just so I stand the right one. So you guys gonna be like, he said this one was like this. Okay, now so if if you're looking for a phone that you're trying to get for free, zero down, and only have to pay the monthly cost and maybe activation depending on who you go to, I would say, I, I would say the Moto G Stylus 5G. Now, they say that has been discon uh, discontinued, but I doubt it has because um, Metro PCS advertises it like crazy. But they do have the Moto G Stylus 5G, the green one. Now, it's, it's Moto G Stylus, and that's something that's stupid that Motorola does. They don't ever give, like, a unique name to every, each one of their phones. It's just, it's got to be, like, the damn, the, the the same or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, because they got Moto G, Moto G phones, and it's, like, one word is different but nobody really knows you know what i'm saying what phone you're talking about when you ask about it okay so <laughs> so now for zero down the moto g stylus 5g is a good phone it's a it's, it has a nice it has a nice screen i think it's about 6.8 inch screen plus you get the new android 12 update and i'm pretty sure that that phone does get android 12 update i have saw and um, heard that it does get the new Android 12. Um, you got a pen stylus. That's not nothing you can actually do with the stylus that is like, you know, out this world. But you get a little stylus to play around with. Um, and you know what I'm saying? It, it's and it's 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 a nice phone. I have had it. It's it's a real nice phone. The camera is on it. I think it's like a 48 megapixel camera on it. Then you have three other cameras. It's it's nice. It's 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 a decent phone. I, I definitely would recommend that phone. You know what I'm saying? So, another one that I would go with that I think is an awesome phone is the X100 5G by Nokia. Now, that is a nice 
phone. I got that from my daughter a long time ago. People were asking me, they were like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like I got so many, you know, compliments on that phone. When I did the video, I really wasn't like in, I, you know what I'm saying? I, re I didn't really think it was going to be, people were going to be like liking that phone. But the phone is nice. It, it really is. It's a, it's, it's really a nice phone. It's the, the phone, the screen is 6.8. It's all. It's mostly. It, it is. Not, I'm not gonna say mostly. It's all Google layout. So basically, you're going to get. And I think that phone has got the Android new update on Android 12. And um, the phone is very smooth, um, very nice. The the experience I have had with it. Plus, you get in a 5G phone. You know what I'm saying? And it's free. And um, it's 128 gigabyte. Now the Motorola G Stylus 5G is 128 gigabytes of storage too. Just uh, I didn't get to mention that, but this Nokia 5G X100 X100 5G is 128 gigabytes of storage. Um, that that that's a nice when I got when I gotta say that that is a nice phone. You know what I'm saying? Very nice phone. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me see. And then another phone that I recommend. Well, I would say I recommend this phone. I didn't have no bad experience with it, but I have heard that this phone is like. A little trouble of connecting to the network but i don't know if it was like a i don't know if it was like a a, a update situation because I, I you know when i had it i didn't have no problems but um it was the revel v plus 5g now it's a lot of revel v's but this is a, the v plus 5g taller phone nicer phone um the, the one thing i liked about that phone is i think it was like you only got like maybe 64 gigabytes of storage but when you put your SD card in it um you you brung the the how do I explain it you brung the SD card whatever memory that you bought and then you it collided with the internal memory and made it one which is great if you can do that because you can't find a phone like that I have found a phone like that in a long time if you can do that this phone you actually could it would say do you do you want to use the SD card as your internal memory you like yes bam you went from 64 to like 300 and something gigabytes of storage. <laughs> and, and the phone is nice. You know what I'm saying? The phone is nice. I did hear way back then they were trying to update this phone to Android 12. I'm not sure about that if that actually happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look. Now, let me see about another phone for free. Okay, obviously, this phone is for free. If you're an iPhone user, you can definitely switch over and get the iPhone SE not the third, third generation, but the second generation for iPhone SE for zero down. Now, the phone is nice. You get IP68, you get wireless charging, you get a small 4.7 inch screen, you get a fingerprint sensor on the front of it. So, I mean, you're not going to, I mean, if, if you're not, if you don't care about like big screens, then this is a phone for you. But if you care about big screens, this phone is not for you, but it is free. But if you do just want to get an iPhone product, this phone is zero down. And you can definitely get that. That's one thing I do recommend also. So uh, let me see. Let me see. Before I go to the next situation, let me look at some more phones. Okay. So um, let me let me tell you guys. Okay. So another phone to get for zero down that I thought was pretty nice is the Moto G 5G. Now, if you, you see what I'm saying? It was a Moto G Stylus 5G. This thing is called the Moto G 5G 2022. <laughs> Don't know why Motorola did that. But I haven't had a chance to play with this phone. But reading the specs, it has 64 gigabytes of storage. The phone is a nice. I have had an up-close look at the phone. Actually, I did. I'm sorry. When I was in Best Buy, I did, play, I did mess around with it for a quick, like, five minutes or whatever. Went through it real quick. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I can tell how phone is. The phone is, it is pretty smooth. It does come with the latest Android 12 on it. It is, it is a nice phone. The, um, the camera is nice on it. So I, I would, I would recommend, I would really recommend that. Okay. Now, um, moving on. Now, let's say you do got a couple, a few dollars in your pocket. Now, I don't mean a few dollars as five dollars. I mean, let's say you got like. Let's say you, you want to get a phone that's starting at $30 if you switch over deal to like, let's say $70. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what I recommend, first of all, what I think is a nice phone, and I'm not going to lie about it, top off, top, right off the top. I said that back, you guys see that top off. <laughs> right off the top. 
a Norton N25 G by One Plus. When I say that is a nice phone, very nice phone. I did a video on it. Then I did a speed test on it, video on it. Go look at those videos after this after this video. Go look at that because it's a nice phone. Now you can now this one is thirty nine ninety nine when you port in your number. Now this phone used to be sixty nine. Now that they dropped it. Don't know why they. Well, I'm glad they dropped it. Don't know why they dropped it because this phone is very nice. Maybe because people were kind of like, I, I heard somebody tell me before by saying, "Well, the Galaxy A fifty three five G is a nice phone." Why would I do all that when you get more features with a, uh, a N25 G? First of all, I want to say for the people who think that the Samsung A53 5G is a nice phone, the phone is not, that, that is not a nice phone. It, it's now I was I jumped on board with that and I was like, what? I'm okay, let me go get that. The phone is laggy as shit. The, the, I'm not even going to lie to you. The, the phone is, I, I can't tell you. I, I put a screen protector on it. I was like, I ripped the screen protector off because I thought the screen protector was was screwing with me. Now, it wasn't a screen protector. The phone is just crappy by itself. It lags by itself. I, I read it. I read in the um um with on the Google feed that the phone had an update. Still don't trust it. I gave that phone away. I I, I didn't give it a phone away. I sold it away because the phone was so laggy. The the Galaxy A fifty three five G was so laggy. The A52, I had never had a lagginess with that. The A53 had a terrible lag to it. I, I really blame it on the MediaTek processor that they put in the phone. But to me, that's what I think was wrong with it. So I would definitely go with the Nordic 25G for $39. Great phone. Great phone. Not, not even not even gonna lie about that. Now moving now moving past that. Now, you can definitely go pick up the Stylus 5G by TCL. Now, that is a very nice phone, and that's only $20. So, why you say, oh, why go with the OnePlus over the, the, the Stylus 5G? First of all, the, One, the OnePlus is a badass phone. It's nice. AMOLED display, in-display in, uh, in fingerprint sensor, um, 128 gigabytes of storage. You can put an SD card in it. And, I mean... That's just a little bit of what I'm talking about. You got to experience the rest on your own, but it's a nice phone. Now, the TCL comes next in line, and it's it, that's a very, very nice phone right there. Um, so, you get a stylus pen that actually does more than the Moto G Stylus 5G, but the Moto G Stylus is a free phone. This one is $20. Um, that's really ain't nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, definitely not think, that, think that's good. Um, now, what I wanted to say is that um, another one I would get along with that is the Norton 10 5G. I think that's I think that's a pretty decent phone, pretty nice phone. So definitely would um, definitely would um, get that phone too. That that would be something I, I would get. But I would definitely get the one. I would definitely get the One Plus. Yeah, and I would definitely I would definitely get that one. Uh, the, now another one that I would get. Two is uh, I think that's it. If you got a little bit more money in your pocket, now moving on to the last ones. Uh, oh, the last one is if you got like a hundred dollars or more that you're willing to spend, I would definitely pick up. And I, now that the iPhone SE third gen is a smaller screen, but it's like but it's an iPhone SE second gen, but on like steroids. Now this phone has a great processor in it. Um, so if you're willing to get that phone, I read the specs on the phone, never had this phone, but you know what I'm saying? iPhone, when they put specs on something, you can best believe that the, the phone is going to run pretty good. So that was $149 if you want to come over, but I think it's because it's newer. I think, I believe over time the, the price will drop. Now they do have an iPhone 11 for $99.99 if you want to get that. If you're an iPhone lover and, or if you just want to try an iPhone you know what I'm saying? You, I, I would recommend those two. Now, um, moving on from that, now one of the phones that I got that I'm very happy about that that um, I think is pretty cool is a Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G. That is a mouthful. Uh, yeah, I would definitely get. I would definitely um, recommend that if you got money to spend. That is 199. Now this this is. This is a top-notch Samsung phone, so let me tell you about. Let me tell you that 
you it, it does everything from the IP68 to the wireless charging to um the the processor is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I experienced some lagginess in it, but um just a little bit of lag lagginess in it. Very, very little, very, very little. But um it it is a nice, nice phone. You know what I'm saying? But it but like I but like I said, I was having the phone for a, a while. I um I do a lot of stuff on it, so that probably could have been the reasons, but I don't have no no other bad experiences with the phone. The camera is great, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. So anyway, guys, just wanted um, to put out there the top nice phones for Metro PCS to get. Sorry for about, about making this video too long. <laughs> so don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and I'll be back again with more.